Hey guys, so today I'm going to be showing you guys how to get the old YouTube user interface in 2022. Now, I have made a video just earlier this year on the same topic, but believe it or not, a lot has actually changed since January. So I'm going to make sort of an update video for this year. So yeah. Let's get started. All right, so in my previous video on this topic, which was released back in January of this year, I said that YouTube Redux is better than 7K T2, mainly because it was more accurate to the old YouTube user interface, but that was all the way back in January. Since then, I've noticed that YouTube Redux's updates have been getting painfully slow. One update a month, if you're lucky, which means that 7K T2 has had a ton of time to catch up, but I continued to use YouTube Redux right up until about a week ago when I got this comment on one of my videos saying that 7KT tube has been updated several times and now looks 95% accurate. So I was like, I have to try this, right? So I tried it and I was honestly very blown away at how good it is. And so now I think it's time to answer the big question. Is it better than YouTube Redux? Let's find out. So for this comparison, I will be comparing the functionality of the two extensions and then I will be comparing the YouTube Redux UI, the 7KT tube UI, and the genuine old YouTube layout from 2019 using the Internet Archive. And whichever is more more accurate to the old user interface will win. So let's get started. So let's start then with functionality. Now YouTube Redux is much better when it comes to customization and ease of use. The extension can easily be installed from the Chrome Web Store and the extension also has multiple pages of customization to make YouTube look how you want it. YouTube Redux has not come with the most accurate settings when you first download it, but you can make it look pretty close. Because YouTube Redux has been updating really slow, if you use it when you have the new horrible watch page layout, it's pretty broken even with the fix enabled, and this may not get fixed for at least another 15 days. Now, what about 7KT Tube? Now, 7KT Tube is much better when it comes to old YouTube accuracy, which I'll get to in a bit, and reliability. But it's not as easy to install. First, you gotta download either Tamper Monkey or Violent Monkey, and then you gotta install 7KT Tube through the official website. And then on top of that, you gotta add a font fix from Greasy Fork, and the link to that will be in the description. And when it's all set up, you can change a couple settings by hitting a button embedded into YouTube's top bar, which you can easily hide using an ad blocker. Now, those few settings are nowhere near how many settings that YouTube Redux has for customization. So what about old YouTube accuracy? So first off, let's start with the home page. This is where you would select the video you would want to watch. And let's start with 2019 YouTube first. So in 2019 YouTube, there are six videos per row. Those videos are sorted by automatically made playlists and categories. There are unabbreviated view and sub counts. There are home and trending buttons up at the top of the screen. And in the sidebar, options actually darken when you hover over them. And video title and channel names get underlined when you hover over them. Now, what about YouTube Redux? So the sidebar is pretty accurate, but the options don't darken when you hover over them. They sort of just darken a tiny bit. The view count is abbreviated like the new YouTube layout, the videos are not arranged in the same way, and there are no home and trending options at the top of the screen just like the new layout. So if I were to rate the YouTube Redux home screen, then maybe a 5 out of 10. Now, what about the YouTube home screen using 7KT Tube? There are still no home and trending options at the top of the screen, like the old UI, but this is still amazing. And you can make it even more accurate by turning on the shelves layout, which is actually a pretty new feature. And the shelves layout is actually really cool and it replicates YouTube's old homepage layout with automatically made playlists and categories. Unfortunately, the shelves layout is a little bit bugged because you can't scroll any further with the shelves turned on due to the lack of a load more button, which is what it should have. Now, on every video on the homepage, the view count on all of those videos are unabbreviated, just like the old YouTube user interface, which gives the homepage pretty good attention to detail. More points for attention to detail are darkening the thing you're hovering over over in the sidebar, underlining the selected video title and channel name, smaller margins in the search bar, and even replicating the old menu when you click on your profile picture in the top right corner, which is amazing. Solid 9 out of 10 for sure. Now let's move on from the home page to the channel page. So first, let's start with the genuine old YouTube layout from 2019. So in the genuine old channel page, you will see that there are smaller selection buttons that don't transition to the other when selecting them. And you will also see that there is a list of featured channels on the right side of the channel page, and the channel banner doesn't transition when you scroll down. Now what I mean by the transition of the banner is that the banner stays put in the old user interface, and doesn't slowly move down when you scroll like in the new user interface. Now let's take a look at YouTube Redux. Now, the 
sub count is in a different place, profile picture is in a different place, the banner does the transition when, when you're scrolling, the buttons transition when you click on them, and I have to mention this, the only fix to the channel page since February 2021 is making the channel page less wide, so the channel page doesn't touch the sides. So yeah, um, so yeah, honestly I give this a 5 out of 10. So next one, 7K T2, let's see how good that performs in the channel page. So the sub count is in the right place, profile picture is in the right place, the buttons don't transition when you click on them, which is good, and can you believe it? The channel banner doesn't transition when you scroll. Oh my god, you did it! But there are no featured channels on the side, you need to scroll down to see the featured channels. And the text should have a bit of a top margin to make it not so close to the top line. But other than that, a solid 8.5 out of 10. Now, what about the video page? The video page should be the most accurate, because the video page is the page where you would spend the most time on. So the genuine old YouTube layout would have autoplay at the top right corner, the dislikes would be showing, and the border at the top should stay white when you're in theater mode. So now let's move on to YouTube. Redux, how does that perform? So this extension adds the autoplay feature to the video page with a very accurate recreation of the autoplay button. But most of the view counters are abbreviated and the top bar does go black when you enter theater mode. But I do have to announce again that the YouTube Redux video page is actually broken as stated earlier. At the moment I would give it a 2 out of 10 but after it gets fixed the writing would go up to a 7 out of 10. Now what about 7K T2? So the video page is not broken and is actually more aesthetically accurate than YouTube Redux was before it broke in the video page. Now, when you use 7K T2, all of the view counters in sight are unabbreviated, and you can even make the dislikes show with an extension, and also by unchecking this option in the 7K T2 settings. But there is no autoplay section, and the video player is slightly broken with full screen enabled, no matter if this setting is turned on or off. So, um, conclusion. Um, get 7k ttube it's currently a lot better than youtube redux so i really really hope you enjoyed this video if you love to please subscribe and i'm gonna see you guys in the next video bye